Nous avons de grandes attentes par rapport à ce procès qui est le premier procès en France sur les crimes du régime syrien. Et nous sommes donc très satisfaits, très heureux que ce procès puisse avoir lieu. Nous espérons également que ce ne sera pas le seul. Mais c'est encore une fois, d'abord et avant tout pour la famille d'Abag, un aboutissement très important et très attendu. Et puis c'est aussi un immense, un immense espoir pour l'ensemble des victimes syriennes qui ne peuvent obtenir justice. On sait que l'impunité continue de régner de manière absolue en Syrie. C'est donc un procès pour crimes contre l'humanité qui bien sûr vise à rendre justice à la famille d'Abag, mais qui au-delà de cette, de cette histoire va pouvoir aussi faire résonner ces récits de centaines de milliers de victimes syriennes. It's very important to address the accountability gap because in the Syrian case there are no domestic remedies to bring those who are, have committed grave human rights violations and international crimes to justice. So therefore mainly for victims, families also of the victims, it's very important that perpetrators from the regime side are held accountable. Even if it's mainly symbolic, because of course it's a trial in absentia, it means a lot for the fight against impunity. It doesn't mean a lot if you are part of the Syrian regime, but it does mean that your attempts at erasing crimes, at invisibilizing uh, victims, have failed somehow. So the regi Syrian regime might be very condescendent or even derogative or more about these kind of efforts. At the same time, it is clear that it does have an effect on them. It does somehow show that they cannot get away with their crimes in the way that they want. If there are arrest warrants, it also means that Syrian regime officials, certain Syrian regime officials can't travel. The ways of justice are, of course, very often very slow, but the importance of justice is also not only concrete effects, but also justice being seen to be done, and this is also what is happening here today. If there are arrest warrants that are issued, then it would mean that the Syrian regime officials could not travel freely to European countries. And this, of course, we see also in other cases, such as happening at the ICC, possibly um, in the future, that these arrest warrants are very important to infringe on the freedom of movement. So this would be a very concrete step, of course, to make these officials feel that there are consequences in their behavior.